Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. Today's video is a gift box. I was filming the tutorial for the bracelet that we made yesterday, and I thought, wouldn't it be perfect, since it is Christmas time, to put together a bracelet and box combination so that you can give it as a gift. So I played around with, with the measurements and I've designed a little box that's perfect for a bracelet. Now this project would also be perfect for those rainbow loom bracelets that everyone's making. So if you'd like to give it your rainbow loom bracelets as a gift this year, this is the box for you. It's very simple and it only takes a six inch by six inch square of cardstock. As you've probably already done the math, one 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbooking cardstock will make four boxes easily. When you're ready, grab your paper trimmer, a score blade, and a cutting blade. Or if you don't have a paper trimmer, grab a stylus or something to make score marks with, a ruler, and a pair of scissors as well. You will also need a little bit of double-sided tape or glue to assemble your box. And that's about it. Okay, let's make a box. So we've got a top and a bottom to this box. And the top and bottom are the same size piece of paper, but the top is, is measured and folded slightly differently than the bottom in order for it to be able to fit on top. But I'll walk you through all of the process, so don't, no worries. Okay, all measurements will be in the description box as well so that you don't have to worry about writing anything down as you're watching it. Just watch the process and then try it yourself. Here we go. You're going to start with a six inch by six inch piece of paper. You're then going to cut that paper in half. So now you've got a three, three inch by six inch piece of paper and another three inch by six inch piece of paper. First, we're going to start with the bottom and then we'll make the top. Now I'm pulling out my paper trimmer here. If you don't have a paper trimmer, you can do the same measurements and score lines with a pencil and, uh, or sorry, not a pencil, <laughs> with a stylus and a ruler, and then a surface, of course, to run the stylus on. It works exactly the same way. So the first measurement for the bottom of the box is at the, holding this vertically with the we're going to line up the piece of paper with the three quarter inch mark on your paper trimmer and then give it a good score. We're now going to turn it over and again at the three quarter inch mark, we're going to score again. We're going to turn it so that it looks like this. And once again, at the three quarter inch mark, we are going to score again. And again at the three quarter inch mark, we'll score again. Okay, so now we've got two marks going this way and two marks going this way, both at the three quarter inch spot. I'm now going to take my scissors and cut along the score line just up to the point where they intersect. Now, of course, for the ease of the camera, I'm going to just draw a line where that score line is. So there's the three quarter inch mark. Obviously, you're not going to do this with yours because uh, well, you don't want marker all over your thing. So you're just going to cut along that score line. Here's the other score line. Cut along the score line until you hit that three quarter inch mark. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. Now in order for the box to fit neatly with itself, we're going, we have these two tabs on the outside and then a middle tab. We're actually going to trim the outside tabs just a hair, not even a measurable amount, just a little tiny bit. That's going to give you a nice professional finish when you go to make the box. So just a hair. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So it's the outside tab that I'm cutting and I'm just going to trim it down a little tiny bit. And same on this side. 
Okay, now that that's finished, we are going to fold along all of the score lines. And if you're using patterned cardstock, just make sure that your cardstock pattern is on the outside, so the bottom in this case, and score it really well. Okay, so that's step one finished for the bottom. I'm also going to show you the top at the same time so that you can get them all finished and then we'll assemble them afterwards. So the measurements for the top of the box are just slightly different. What we're gonna do is line up the box with three quarters or line up the paper going the long way with a three quarter inch mark and then just go 1 16th of an inch down. So 1 16th of an inch shy of the quarter mark. So if you were measuring it, it would be 11 16ths, but that's the equivalent of just 1 16th shy of the 3 quarter mark. And again, same thing. 1 16th shy of the 3 quarter mark or 11 16ths. And again, the same just as you did with the bottom. Only instead of three quarters, you're doing it at, at 11 sixteenths. Okay. Now, this works identical to the way the bottom did. You're just going to cut in to create little outside tabs and a middle tab on both ends of the box. And once again, just a hair of a trim to make it fit better when you go to assemble. And accuracy with your measurements is key on this one, guys, just because your top and your bottom are connecting to each other. You know, one's going to go inside the other one. So just be careful about your measurements. I'm sure you are anyway. And again, we're just going to fold them up just like we did with the first one. Now, assembly for these guys is identical. So, for example, let's use the top. On the outside of the box, you are going to put a little bit of double sided adhesive and I like to cover the whole tab with it because I find that it stays better. You could also use Tombow glue if you're a Stampin' Up! fan. You could use uh, white glue, tacky glue, anything, any sort of adhesive that you find to be the best. ATG would work great with this. See, my go-to is double-sided tape, but it's totally up to you. Okay. So when you have that sticky with whatever you're using for glue, you're going to take that tab and slide it behind the tab that you created before and line it up nice and neatly. And if your measurements are accurate, it should pop right into place for you. And it should give you a nicely finished box. I'm going to do the same on the other side and then I'm going to do the same on the bottom as well and I'll come back to show you the finished product. Okay I've now assembled the top and the bottom and you know the top is the top because it's slightly bigger than the bottom. On the other one I did decide to take a hole punch and punch out a little groove for grippiness just to be able to pull the box apart easily. But if you don't have a hole punch, it's not a big deal. And you could always cut a little groove in with scissors as well. So that's the finished box. You can decorate it however you like um, and then put whatever you like in it. But again, this was made for bracelets. So your rainbow loom bracelet or, or the paper bead bracelet that we made yesterday. Now, if you are going to decorate your box, 
make sure that you do any stamping or that sort of thing before you turn it into a box. It'll give you nice clean images that way if you're stamping on a flat surface. Other than that, have lots of fun with it guys. I hope you have a great day and are enjoying the holiday season. Take care guys. Bye-bye.